So our next review of the day is going to be for Sisu. Sisu is the uh, World War II um, action film here. Um, very simple premise here. Um, very simple things going on. You have this uh, miner, uh, this this guy who discovers gold, um, and he he is very much a simple mission like we talked about with Bo is afraid A to B going a mm-hmm. character going from A to B. This is what this character tries to do. Like he finds his gold and he's like, okay, well I'm going to go to the bank and deposit it so I can get uh, cash for it. And in the in midst of going to uh, the bank, he comes across uh, Nazis. Um, and then, of course, everybody knows, you know, Nazis, villains, bad guys. This is basically it's like a grindhouse type movie. This would this would be the trailer for the movie that would play. Like if you watched like Death Proof or Planet Terror, which was Quentin mm-hmm. Tarantino's and Robert Rodriguez, their like whole thing together. This would be like a, a movie that would be a trailer in uh, in between yeah. those. Uh, that would show uh, because you have this character um, as they describe him in the movie uh, a mean motherfucker um, as they describe him you know a guy who's just this ultimate killing mm-hmm. machine that goes on you know like he's got this history of being this badass and he's just a guy that's not to be messed with um, so it's very simple in that way the execution is, is very simple in that way if you just want to see somebody kill some Nazis um, and this character that uh, that hears this lead who he doesn't even talk till the last a few minutes of the movie he doesn't even say any dialogue um so if that's what i mean so you're getting a very basic slim down kind of story here if you just want to see that that's all you're going to get from it uh the villains like i said they're the nazis uh you know not much work there to required to make them the villains um you know even if you didn't even were kind of on the fence about hating nazis they shoot at a little cute dog so just in case you were on the fence about that then they do that uh, which, by the way, I think the dog in this that he kind of that pals around with him, that follows around, uh, that follows him uh, everywhere, mm-hmm. uh, is one of the cutest little dogs ever. I think just like this little kind of sheep looking dog, very very cute, <laughs> um, you know, very adorable, um, and. Uh, a large part of it, and the action is very good um you know it's very good it is very violent um you'll see some good deaths in here if that's what you're looking for nice. um it gets in gets out you know it's only an hour and 30 minutes to uh you know they try to do like i said even some of the style of it like they do like these chapters like chapter one chapter two um of mm. it and, you know much like you'll see in maybe something like i think kill bill did that too like the different chapters too with it um Mm. I mean, these these chapters, because this movie's only an hour and a half, this shit is like, you know, the chapters last about as long as, like, Cat in the Hat. Like, they're like, you know, first it's 15 minutes, then it's a new chapter, you know, then it's, it's pretty quick. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I did, you know, for what it was, I did, it was like, okay, this is all right, this is okay. Um, you know, this, it's got some good comedic elements to it, because some of the violence in it um, has, you know, some good comedic moments in it. Uh, there's a scene, like, where they're on a minefield, um, and they have to go back, and then some Nazis are like stepping on the ni- minefield and then exploding into different bits. Um, so there's some good comedic moments there. Um, they have to kind of drag this movie out a little bit. It feels like they kind of stretch it out because the way they get this, uh, the, the farmer guy, the way he kind of keeps getting away mm-hmm. is kind of ridiculous it's like you could just kill him like they're shooting at him with a like a huge gun like a gatling gun i don't know the exact term for the gun but it was like this huge kind of gatling gun looking thing they're oh, shooting like at 50 cal yeah 50 cal and they're shooting at him with it and they're just missing them they're just <laughs> playing they yeah. just miss so they have that, to stri- that would have yeah <laughs> you know what i mean they're just missing him wide yeah, left yeah. wide right i'm like come on now <laughs> i mean uh um, yeah no and then there's one scene where like um the the minefield scene uh, where they all just shoot at him. You know, they all just, all these people shooting at him. He's got like a shield up. It's like the scene in Wonder Woman, uh, like the mm. battlefield scene in that. And he's got a shield up and they're not shooting him anywhere in the legs, nowhere in the, like in the in the torso, nowhere there. It's just like all the shield is just catching all of it. And I'm like, okay. So again, you got to just kind of go with it. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, this is, you know, obviously this is heightened type of thing uh if you want to do that so okay yeah and in the way that this takes place i think it's in um let me see i think it's in finland was where this movie was uh taking place in um there and they you know they it's yeah so and you may ask like why the nazis are chasing this one dude um you know one they find out that he's got the gold and he did kill one of their guys um because they discover that and then 
And then two, they're like, listen, if we go back, because they got orders to like go back, and this is on the tail end of uh, World War II. This is like on the tail end of it. So they're like, if we go back home, uh, then they're going to hang us. I mean, we already know the writing's on the wall. Like, we're going to get punished. So, you know, we take this gold, you know, get a mm. nice retirement plan, everything like that. Uh, so that's the main reason why they're just chasing this one dude throughout the whole movie um and he just keeps coming back i mean once you think he's done they're just like fuck he just keeps coming back all the time um and and the way he kills a lot of the uh, a lot of these different people and the way he gets away is is kind of comical if you you know what i mean if you're if you're into that type of thing and you want to suspend belief there suspend disbelief so um yeah i would give it a stream it you know i think it'd be something you could probably watch um you know at home um and everything like that um yeah so yeah i think it's an enjoyable action movie any any kind of any questions any thoughts about it no it sounds um from what the i saw in the trailer that seemed pretty much what it was going for when it seemed like a uh kind of a grit type of movie which uh that the remake of grit by the coen brothers was really good as well but yeah it just seemed like a grit kind of grind grindy kind of movie that we haven't quite had in quite a bit and from what you're telling me that seems like that's kind of what i would get so that's um that's good at least they they marketed to what they were going for yeah yeah so if i mean you look at the trailer there um it's like hey i just want to see you know maybe a good action movie and again it continues the line of a lot of these like older action heroes that we've seen recently like mm-hmm. liam neeson and denzel washington and keanu reeves and so on and so forth a lot of these older action heroes um this is guys uh bob odenkirk the, yeah bob odenkirk and nobody um this continues in the line of those and the guy's name is uh, jermio tamale um uh, maybe it's how mm-hmm. you pronounce his name um and yeah he's the lead guy here um so um yeah yeah so i'll stream it for me nice 